So you've come across this video because you've either just bought an electric car or you are renting one and you'd like to know how to use the charge.net rapid charger prior to rocking up and trying to uh, learn what all the buttons and everything mean. And this video is going to make sure you know how to use it before you turn up. So most of the cars in New Zealand of the 900 or so that are registered are a Nissan Leaf just like this one. You have two charging ports. This flap pops up from under the steering wheel. There's a flap. You've got your EV charger, which is the one with the orange cap, and that's the one you'd use at home. And then you have this larger Chidamo charger, and that's the one that we're going to hook up to this machine. Once you get to the charge.net charger, um, and there's heaps of them popping up around the country, all you need to do is, you'll see this first flashing light is saying to plug the car in. So you simply where, take where are we at the moment? We're in Tikipunga in Wangarei. This so, is a new one in Tikipunga. Yes, this one's only been here about a week. Looks uh, pretty good to me. Yeah, it's pretty shiny, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one that's just opened up in uh, Kaiwaka and uh, Kawakawa uh, opening was just the other day. So this simply just pulls out of the machine and this is the Chidamo charger and then on the car you just pop open the cap and you simply line it up and plug the charger in and you press it home quite firmly and you'll have a red light that shows that the car has successfully connected. And the easiest way to get the machine going is to register on the charge.net website and they'll send you out these RFID cards and that enables the machine and then charges your credit card for whatever power you've used. So you simply swipe that across this reader. It automatically selects an 80% charge because that's healthier for the battery and then you just press start. You'll see the lights flashing and now you'll see that the machine is successfully charging. The battery in the car already has 91% in it. You'll hear the machine buzz as it starts to ramp up the amps that it's putting in and you're all charging, which is great. And so then to stop the machine, once it, it, it will automatically stop itself once it's got to the either 80% or if you select max it'll go to 95%. Uh, so it'll stop automatically and it'll flash a light telling you to hang up the cable and you, then you're set to go. But if you want to stop the machine early, all you need to do is hit the stop button and it'll wait. Stop. It'll stop and then it'll flash here to say hang up the charger. And with, with the charger handle there's just this button on the top of the handle. So you press that down and pull. And out oh, it comes. That pretty easy. <laughs> Just like using a petrol pump, but there's no petrol. <laughs> and it's like 30 cents a litre when you compare petrol versus using an electric car. And that's you done. So that'll automatically charge to the credit card that you've registered on the charge.net site. And you're set to go. And you just leave the RFID on your key. Pays to get five of them. So your wife has one or uh, anyone that's sharing the car has an RFID and you're all set to go, fully charged. One other little tip I'll give you at the moment because we tend to be trying to get from one rapid charger to another and they're quite a distance apart, is you can plug the machine in a second time to get another little bit more charge in. You might get maybe 3 to 5% in and, and that's if you're trying to get a long distance between charges. So I hope that helps. Please uh, click like on the button below if you like this video and it was helpful and a comment would be great. Anything you want to see to do with electric cars just place a comment and we'll be happy to help. And it's Nicholas and Andre at Cashback Cars.